Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today we have this challenge lock from Ith Bumgard and see that's I-T-H. It's also stamped into the side of the lock there. I got this uh, lock from Super Llama and it's one of my good buddies. He's the, he's a moderator for the subreddit as am I and a couple other guys. But uh, yeah, I love these. He put it in this 83 AL45, and I love these things. Um, it's one of the locks. This is the same thing I'm going to be giving away on my 100 subscribers video. It's the same thing I put uh, this Medico, my first Medico ever picked into. Uh, yeah, very cool locks. I like them. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. Let's see if we can throw this thing in the vise and get her picked. Zoom in a little bit, get some focus going. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use a D-Force Diamond and one of the new 50 thousands pry bars. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I gotta click off a five. Feels like one's bound up. Feels like there's a lot of room between the bottom of the lock and the key pan, so. Try to fix that by picking off this ledge, I guess. Okay, I got a little turn on the core from pin four. Pin three is giving me a little feedback. I think I got it set. A little click from two there. Got a little click off a of five. Click off a three. Oops. Find a ledge to pick that first pin from. It would help. Okay, I gotta I think I got a click from one. Got a little click from five and a little turn on the core. Let's 
feel like two's giving me some feedback. Can't get centered under it very well. There we go. Got a click off a of two and a little bit turn on the core. Okay, click off a of six, another little turn on the core. Click off a of five. Feels like a little feedback from three. And there we go, it's open. All right, well, that was another long pick. I've had a few long picks here lately, but Let's zoom out, Let's see if we can't get this thing real fast for you guys. All right, what do we got? Looks like we got a Phillips. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And yeah, you kind of got to be careful with these cores because they got this pin. Oh, they do have a clip too, but they have this pin that can get stuck in places. But let me grab a shim here real quick. you focused get you situated here okay I'll go there I'll go ahead and pull this clip off all right that came off rather easy so that's cool I'll go ahead and leave it picked and see if we can't push it to where that pin see there we go we pushed it to where the pin was out of the way and we'll throw the shim in here. And that should help us gut it. Let's get this out of our way. And that should be good. All right. Looks like he did some mods on the core. He made the couple of the holes wider and bigger some undercuts on it and in two four and six we got threading let's go ahead and check out these pins okay we got a spool key pin another spool key pin in two a serrated key pin in three a serrated key pin and four a standard and five and a standard and six for key pins okay let's go ahead and go to the top try not to do what I did last time here yeah let's get this shim out of the way all right in pin one we got a spool and a copper spring sounds like my wife's home in pin two we got a serrated yeah it goes this way pin two we got a serrated and looks like a still spring, but we're gonna go past that. We'll worry about the springs later. And three, we got another spool. Those kind of almost look like acid gym bottle spools. And in Oh, 
four. We got another spoolish, nice looking double sided spool pin. And let's see. Okay, there's pin. In three, we had a copper. In five, we got a copper. In four, we got a copper. And that spring's stuck there, so let's see. In pin five, we got a standard. And I'm just gonna push this out of the way and go from the back here. What I think. Yeah, there we go. On pin six. We got another one of those acid gin looking type spools. And a copper spring. All right, and that other spring ain't coming out, but that was a steel spring right there in three, but I ain't gonna fight with it to come out. Um, once again, here's your bidding, or maybe I didn't show you that bidding. It looks like he hand ground that key himself. Pretty cool. Um, let's see up in the top. It looks like, it looks like all the chambers may be threaded. If I can get it to focus. Sorry guys, it's not one to focus. There we go. Yeah, see it looks like, oh, yeah, it looks like maybe all but four are threaded. Looks like. Yeah, it looks like all but four are threaded. And we'll, I'll just go ahead and show you this again. I already told you which ones were threaded and whatnot. Actually, we've got some undercuts in one also. And let's have a look at these pins. Some very nice pins here, it. They remind me of the Asus spools. Very cool. Did a nice job on this lock. Took a minute to pick it. All right, guys. If you don't have consent, keep your pick in your pants. Don't break the law. Have a good day. Thanks.